All right, guys, so we're here on the uh, launch X431, and I noticed today that there was a huge update that came out. And this was just by coincidence. I come out to the truck to check something else on this truck and take a look at what I noticed. It's going to be a pleasant surprise for people that obviously like, you guessed it, topology. So X, or, uh, Launch has now added topology to their X431 series scan tools. I can't help but think it probably had something to do with X tool a lower cost scan tool uh, offering topology. So Launch probably figured they better uh, follow up. Uh, and I have to say that the topology on the Launch is even nicer um, than the uh, X tool. Now don't get me wrong, I like my X tool for the price. You are not gonna be able to beat anything else in that price range as far as a scan tool. But let's take a look at this uh, topology on the Launch and let's see what it'll do. So, uh, obviously up at the top, you can see that you've got your typical uh, normal, abnormal scan. You got that legend up there to kind of show you, um, you know, what, what you got. And one thing nice about the launch that a lot of people comment about is uh, it's got the voltage up in the upper right corner. A lot of people like that because if you got the key on and you're... Uh, doing a diagnostic scan or whatever it's nice to be able to make sure you've got the the proper voltage a lot of people wish the x tool would eventually put that up there and i'm sure they probably will if enough people uh, complain about it but real quick on this topology so you'll notice right down at the lower right screen you've got smart detection system scan and select detection so before we hit any of those buttons if you're curious what any of these modules are, all you got to do is tap one. So we'll tap the ECM, upper left, and it pops up and it shows you engine control module. If you wanted to go into the engine control module so you can select special functions or live data or anything, all you got to do is hit the enter button. So right now I'm going to go ahead and hit smart detection. And what that's going to do is it's going to start scanning and detecting all the uh, modules that it can find on the on the vehicle. The one thing that I wish Launch would have done is see the red progress bar. It would have been nice if they put a percentage, uh, you know, uh, uh, as far as complete, uh, you know, uh, completion, fifty percent, sixty, sixty-five, seventy. Uh, you know, obviously you got the visual representation there, but if if they would have put a uh, you know, a lot of times, depending on how many modules you've got, it's taken a while to scan, and you kind of like to be able to look up real quick and just read, you know, okay, we're at 78% or 80%, and, uh, you know, press on. But anyway, that's obviously not that big of a deal. Um, obviously, you can see that you can uh, scroll the screen up and down so you can see all the modules. This particular truck has 21 actual modules. Uh, all the gray shaded out ones uh, the trucks just not equipped with those particular modules so that's what that is um, and again if you wanted to see the code for say the electronic brake control module you just hit that module and it shows you the code um, you can hit a code search and see what you know what it says as far as uh, uh, you know what that code represents or you can go into the module and start troubleshooting it. Now, down in the lower right again, you've got report, which is the typical report that the launch has always had. It gives a real nice layout of all the modules, the codes, you know, everything that it just scanned. Now, you can compare results, which right now there's no record, uh, you know, to do any kind of comparison. Now, this diagnostic plan, to be honest, I can't remember if that was there before this update or not but if you hit that uh, if you have multiple codes it'll list all the codes uh, it'll lay out all the codes for you now i don't know if it will do that in like a some kind of a systematic order that it thinks you should work them uh don't have enough experience with it yet but like i said I just got this update less than an hour ago and i'm out here on the truck making a video so 
Anyway, as far as this, oh, real quick, if you wanted to go to the, the list the way it used to be, you just hit system list, and then you've got all your modules right there, just like, you know, you always have. Now, I'm go back to system topology. I want to go back because I want to show you this other option, which is just system scan. Now, I didn't time how long it took to do that initial scan where it scanned all the modules and all the DTCs. But let's say you just want to, you don't really care about the DTCs right now. You just want to see what all modules it can communicate with. Well, if you hit system scan, it more quickly scans all the modules. As long as it can communicate with it, it goes to the next one. And you can see how much faster it's, it's actually going through all the modules. Now, the reason you may want to do this is because you might not want to do a full system scan. You may just want to go straight into one of the one of the modules so you just want to do a quick scan make sure that it can communicate with it and then you know hit the hit the module and then hit enter and go right into the the module so that's what that option is so let's go back now for system detection so let's say you don't want to do a full scan you just want to read the ebcm so we're going to hit we're going to check that by tapping it then we're just going to hit system detection when you hit that it only scans that one module so you don't have to do a full scan each time you you know want to go into one particular module to see you know uh, if there's an issue or not if you hit OBD, OBD it'll automatically check all of them like you just seen there um, yeah I mean pretty nice and they also list up top here so if you want to go straight into common functions you just hit that button uh there'll be a few selections you know like what type of transmission it's got uh light emitting diode he headlights auto zone ac and then you can get right into your uh common functions that the launch uh has to offer you know on this particular vehicle so anyway but anyway the yeah if you've got a launch check your update and uh take a look at the uh topology that they just came out with it's a very nice uh very nice layout i like the way it's uh i like the way it it works it seems to work good now rem one other thing you need to remember though or or be aware of you know a lot of people love this topology because it looks pretty but you're relying if you're actually trying to do a network diagnosis and you need to know uh, what modules are say on the chassis network you're relying on launch or any scan tool that has topology to accurately assign those modules on the right networks so you can see on this one it's got powertrain chassis body other and ATIS well depending on the vehicle hopefully you get what I'm saying a lot of people love the topology because they think that it is 100% accurate the way it's laid out it may or may not be don't let that get you uh, you know diagnosing modules that you don't really need to be uh, diagnosing yeah anyway nice feature of the launch X431 um, and I'm getting ready to also put out another video on the graphing abilities of this scan tool uh, and it's kind of funny I've got my X tool loaned out. That's usually the scan tool that I grab first. To believe, believe it or not, it's just easy. It's it, it it's always worked for me. Well, I've got it loaned out, so I've been using my launch more uh, than I have since I've had it, and that's kind of why I've noticed this so quick um, today. So anyway, uh, topology launch X four thirty one. You guys take care. We'll see you in the next one.